gross uh, anatomy of the uh, forearm. So you have here your cubital fossa formed by an imaginary line that will connect the two epicondyle. And the medial border is formed by the pronator teres, which is the pronator teres. Okay. And the other one is your brachioradialis. So it's a triangular depression located in uh, the anterior elbow. Okay. Then you have here... This is your medial cubital plane. Okay. Anyways. So superficial muscles of the forearm, what are those? Flexor carpi ulnaris, flexor carpi ulnaris, longus, pronator carpi radialis, pronator teres. So we have identified the pronator teres. This one here is your flexor carpi radialis. It's nearer the palm. This is your palmaris longus. And the third one, this is the flexor carpi ulnaris. Now imagine that this area is covered with retinaculum. Okay, tinanggal ko lang yesterday. Okay? Now, your palmaris longus okay, is parang ganyan. This is the flexor retinaculum. The palmaris longus is just above the flexor retinaculum. Okay? Now, we will now remove the superficial muscles. And this will expose your flexor Digitorum superficialis, ito yung continuation niya. Okay. Your flexor digitorum superficialis. Okay? Then the, the, the pronator teres. Okay. Now, pag tinanggal niyo yung pronator teres, pag tinanggal niyo yung pronator teres, you will notice that the superior border of the super flexor digitorum superficialis will serve as a pocket for the median nerve. We call this the arcade of rose. Okay, so para siyang pocket. You can place your finger inside. That's the arcade of rose. Now, I mentioned yesterday that uh, the median nerve can be compressed in two regions. Number one, under the pronator teres. Okay? In some instances, that the pronator teres will get bigger or hypertrophy of the pronator teres, this can compress on your median nerve. Okay, we call it the pronator teres syndrome. The other one is the entrapment of the median nerve in the arcade of Ross. Okay? Because the superficial can also hypertrophy. Okay? So, pwede rin siya maipet And for going to remove the flexor digitorum superficialis, this will expose the flexor digitorum profundus and the flexor colicis longus. Okay? This is your profundus. This is the flexor digitorum. Uh, flexor colicis longus. Can you follow? Okay. Now the superficialis will form four tendons. Cute. One, two, three. Then, the profundus, apat din yan. Okay? Hindi ko na din na isa ikan. Okay? Can you follow? Okay. Now, so, this is your median nerve. Now, the contents of your uh, cubital fossa, okay. number one, di ba T-A-N? Tan? T-A-N. So, this is the tendon of the biceps brachii. This is your brachial artery. Yun. And that is your median nerve. Okay, your T A N. Clear? Now under the flexor digitorum superficialis, you can appreciate now the ulnar nerve. There, that's the ulnar nerve. Okay. Can you all follow? Nice. Now, if we're going to open or remove the flexor digitorum super profundus, okay, this will expose the quadratus, pronator quadratus. This is the pronator quadratus. Now, what about the arterial system? You have the brachial artery, right? Now, at the level of the radial head in the cubital fossa, it will bifurcate into two. The radial artery and the ulnar artery. Which one is more superficial? Radial. The radial artery, this one. Okay. So, we will follow the radial artery. Okay. 
it will end somewhere here. At this region or at this area, the radial artery will start to force posteriorly, crossing the anatomical snuff box. Okay, I'll show that to you later. What about the ulnar artery? The ulnar artery is more deeper. Okay. It will accompany the ulnar nerve. Okay, magkasama sila. Okay. Kita nyo? Now, on one branch of the ulnar artery is the common interosseous. This one. Okay. Now, the common interosseous will divide into two. The anterior interosseous artery and the posterior interosseous artery. The anterior interosseous artery will course on the superior on the surface of the interosseous membrane. The white structure na to is the interosseous membrane. Okay. Now, your guide for uh, identifying the uh, interosseous, anterior interosseous artery is the superior border of the pronator quadratus. Okay. You will notice that the anterior interosseous artery will pass under the inferior border of the pronator quadratus. Okay. So from there, you trace the artery until you reach the ulnar artery. Okay. Can you follow? Now what will happen to the posterior interosseous artery? This will pierce the interosseous membrane and will supply the posterior fascial support. Can you follow? Clear so far? So this is the posterior fascial compartment. You have your brachioradialis, your ECRL, your ECRB. Diba sabi ko, three layers yan. So one, layer one, layer two, layer three. Okay, so this brachiorads, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis. Now under the brachioradialis, you can identify the radial nerve. So, this is your ECRL, this is your extensor digitorum. The extensor digitorum will form four tendons that will supply the four digits. Okay? Then you have here the extensor digiti minimi that will uh, provide extra tendon for the little finger. Okay? Then lastly, you have the extensor carpi ulnaris, this one. Extensor cardiovascular. Okay. Nakita nyo? Now, underneath, yun yung superficial layer. Our deep layer, you have the extensor indices and the muscles that will form the anatomical snuff box plus the supinator. This is the supinator muscle. Now, the anatomical snuff box. This is the triangular pit located at the base of the thumb. Okay? This is the lateral border. This is the medial border. The lateral border is formed by the apple and the epeb. Okay? This is the abductor pollicis longus. This is the extensor pollicis brevis. Okay? The medial border is formed by the apple, extensor pollicis longus. Now, what is appreciated inside the anatomical snuff box is the radial artery. So here is your radial artery. Okay. And the floor is formed by what bone? Scaphoid. Scaphoid. Okay. Now, diba I mentioned yesterday that you have the extensor retinaculum here that will form six tunnels. Okay. Now, this is not, the content of tunnel one is the lateral border of the anatomical snuff box. So this is tunnel one. Okay. Tunnel two will contain the tendons of ECRL and ECRB. Okay? Then tunnel 3 is the medial border of the anatomical snuff box. Can you follow? So tunnel 1, tunnel 2, this is tunnel 3. Okay? Now the question, why is it that the anatomical snuff box is open? Because of that is because of the Lister's tubercle. The Lister's tubercle is somewhere here. Okay? Without the Lister's tubercle, the angulation of the tendon of the extensor pollicis longus will disappear. Tanggalin natin siya. 
Okay. Now, because of the door, the Lister Stuber kill, because of the Lister Stuber kill, the anatomical snuff box is kept open. Okay. So, this is compartment 1, compartment 2, this is compartment 3. Compartment 4 is this one. The extensor digitorum and the extensor indices. Compartment 5 is the extensor digiti minimi. Compartment 6 is the extensor carpi ulnaris. Can you follow? Clear? Okay, now if we're going to open this one, we can identify the supinator. This is the supinator muscle. So I want you to identify the inferior border of the supinator muscle. And from there, look for this vessel. Okay. This is the posterior interosseous artery. Okay. Galing siya dun sa harap, di ba? So, ito na po siya. And this will supply the posterior fascial compartment. Any follow? Clear? Okay. Okay. Sa hand, this is the thinner eminence. So you have three muscles here. Pangat yung dissection nila dito. Okay, so this is the thenar. This is the hypothenar. This is the central compartment. This is the adductor compartment. Okay? So ito yung apo. This is another apo, digiti minimi. This is the adductor pollicis. Okay? This is the adductor pollicis. In the central compartment, you can identify the lumbrical. So, this is lumbrical one. Okay. Hindi pa nakikita yung ibang lumbricals kasi covered pa siya ng, plantar, uh, ng palmar aponeurosis. Now, I want you to, to focus your attention on this vessel. Okay. This vessel arises from the ulnar artery. Okay. And this will create an arch on the palmar region. This is now your superficial palmar arch. Okay. Clear so far? Then, yung nasa ilalim, ang hirap na i-dissect because this will destroy the integrity of the hand. That is the deep palmar arch, which is contributed by the radial artery. Okay? So, sa galing sa ulnar, that is the superficial palmar. Galing sa radial is the deep palmar arch. Okay? So, ganito yung gusto kong gawin niya sa cadaver.